I'm gonna give you an overview of some of the key audiences that we're gonna use in Facebook that do not just rely on the readily available targeting that Facebook provides. So this is gonna be involve us putting in data into Facebook to help with the targeting. So normally we're here in the ad manager, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go someplace else. So hit these three bars here. You could also hit the home button. And what we're gonna do is instead of the ad manager, we're gonna go into audiences. What Facebook's gonna give us here is a list of various uh, types of audiences that have been built. So you can see at the top here, I have a lookalike audience, a 1% lookalike based on uh, a custom audience that I imported with the CSV file. We have a custom audience here that is based on a list of customers that I imported. And then we have a another custom audience which has been built using Lead and Force, where I'm able to target people that liked a particular page on Facebook, something that Facebook natively no longer allows you to do. And you can see I have some other audiences here. I have people that engage with my Facebook page, people that watched at least 10 seconds of my video, people who engaged with my Instagram page, people who engaged with my Facebook page, and, and so on. Uh, some of these include people that completed videos. We have uh, people that visited a particular website that I own. But what we're gonna focus on first is, is these three. So I'm gonna start with this one because it's uh, gonna be a, a very common type of campaign that you're gonna run. So what it is is a, a custom import of existing customers. So what I did was I downloaded an Excel file of the customer and I had my executive assistant modify it for me. So I'm gonna call out some of the most important headers. So even though I'm importing all of this information, there's only specific columns that are really gonna matter and that I'm gonna specify when I import into Facebook. So the FN column is the first name, the LN is the last name. That's gonna be critical so we can uniquely identify those customers. We have the country and and note that the country is uh, in a two letter format, which is what Facebook requires. Now, CT is the city. CT does not need to be in two letters and neither does the state. However, it will accept states and provinces that are two letters. I just kept the full name here. And uh, so that's gonna be other critical information to identify the customers when we're trying to get a high match rate when we import this list into Facebook. Uh, other information that is not mandatory is going to be things like the, the value of those customers, so the amount of revenue or the sales that they brought in. Uh, and most of this information is not going to be essential for Facebook, but it is Im important to, to know for your internal analysis, things like what product they bought, for example, or what coupon code did they use. So next what I'm going to do is walk you through how to import this list into Facebook. One way to uh, build this audience, this custom audience, audience of customers would be in the audience section here and you would click the blue button hit create uh, audience and then select custom audience now you can also just do this in the ad manager whenever you set up an ad set and determine the targeting you could simply create a, a custom list there so here I am in the ad set in the ad manager uh, you can see that these different estimates are provided. I, I put in a, a daily budget here, and then when you scroll down, you'll see the uh, create new audience option. I can hit create new, custom audience, and import from a customer list. So for this demonstration, we'll just do it from within here. So create audience, custom audience. Now the source is going to be a customer list. That's where I'm getting the CSV file. So I'll hit next. It's gonna give me some options here, download file template, etc. I'm just gonna skip all of this and hit go to next. And you could, for example, put in the value. Uh, for my purposes, I have different currencies. So uh, I just neglected to do this, but you could standardize your data and import it with the values. But I'm just gonna go with no in this case. What we're gonna do is we're going to upload the CSV file here, which I'm going to do. We're going to hit next. And now what it's going to do is it's not going to be, it's not going to know all of the columns in your, uh, your Excel file. So for example, it thinks the transaction ID is a phone number. So I'm just going to say, do not upload it correctly. Recognize the first name and the last name, collect correctly, identify the country, collect correctly, identify the city and the state as well. So all that's fine. Uh, what you could do is go into this action needed section and in some cases uh, it doesn't recognize first name so I would just select something here and put in first name or a zip code or whatever. So you don't need to follow the Facebook template perfectly. Uh, you can just see if it maps correctly and if it doesn't you just sort of manually go in and say uh, actually this should be revenue or gender. Uh, gender, for example, you might have typed in M-A-L-E for male, uh, but Facebook just wants to capital M. So you, you would uh, probably need to change your Excel file in a situation like that. So you can see that we got five of these matched. 
Now, in a lot of cases, what Facebook is going to say is you do not have enough unique identifiers. So uh, you're going to have to go and try to get more information from your customers or from your uh, customer relationship management system in order to get a, an appropriate match rate. So I would hit import and create. And then what Facebook is going to do is it, it's going to try to match the information in your Excel file with uh, what exists out there in the Facebook e ecosystem. And uh, once you have that customer list, you can either target your existing customers with ads uh, or a more probable scenario will be that you'll create a lookalike audience based on that list. Because economically, it's generally more efficient to try to go and get new customers than it is to try to upsell or cross sell existing customers. So the lookalike targeting option is excellent because it, you're telling Facebook, hey, go get more people like this, more people like paying customers, uh, rather than just people that maybe are, are free, free users or something like that.